Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Mission Options. So far, we have discussed about what is put option, what is call option, what is a strike price, uh, what is expiry, and so on. And now, slowly, I am going to take you to the practical world. And few things I am showing you here www.nseindia.com. So, this is a NSE India website, and you can see the live market. In live market, you can see the option chain below that equity derivatives. So, you click here, you can see the option chain for Nifty. Here, you, you click here, you can see Nifty, Nifty IT, Bank Nifty. So, Nifty, Bank Nifty, Nifty IT, these are the only three index options available in India. But, however, if you click at the Nifty IT, you can see absolutely there is no liquidity. But if you look at Nifty Bank Nifty, you can see lot of trades. So though we have three indices where the options are being traded, but Nifty IT options are totally illiquid. So now we are left with only two choices and Nifty and Bank Nifty. So we will discuss about the nifty that's number one while giving the cricket analogy i talk about the expiry day so here you can see the expiry day is a third december you click this you can see the next expiry 10th december next expiry 17th december 24th december so in india stock options have only one expiry every month that is the last thursday of the month Whereas Nifty and Bank Nifty both, they have weekly expiries, every week expiry. In addition to that, Nifty has expiry for nearly 5 years also. But though it has 5 year expiry, you look at it, there will be absolutely no liquidity. So we will just focus on uh, monthly expiry. So this is a 31st December. Now the Nifty is trading around 13,000. You have got about one month time and Suppose you feel that market will move significantly higher from here. You can buy call option. And if you think market will go down significantly, you can buy put option. So all the put options are given on the right hand side. And all the call options are given on the left hand side. The center one is the strike price. And here, the first column on the right side is bid quantity. That means buyer quantity, buyer price, seller price, seller quantity, net change. Net change means the price change between yesterday and today. And this is LTP, which is last traded price. And this is IV, which is called implied volatility. And we will come to this implied volatility later. And this is the volume. Okay? Volume means is the number of contracts traded. And this is the change in the open interest. We will talk about the open interest also later. This is the total outstanding open interest. As I said, open interest we will talk later. Now, first we will talk about the call option. You have to come to the left hand side. In case, now the market is trading around 13,000. In case you feel that market will go significantly higher, maybe you think that market will go above 13,200. So the buyer is ready to pay 170 rupees, seller is ready to sell at 173. Now the markets are closed, that's why there's a gap. Normally during the market hours, there'll be only 10 pies, 15 pies difference only. So the last guy who bought it, he bought for 170 rupees. And here I'll tell you one more very important thing in cricket, you just do the betting, but here you cannot do the betting for one share. You have to do a betting for 75 shares and that is called the lot size. We discussed about the lot size in the futures video. The same thing applies here. So that means it is 170 rupees means you cannot buy one share for 170 rupees. You have to buy 75 shares. So you have to pay 75 into 170 that will be working more than 10,000 rupees. So you have to buy in lots, okay? So assume that you are buying 
13,200 call option at the rate of 170 rupees per share. You have to buy minimum 75 shares. That means you are a buyer of a call option. And at the end of the month, that is on December 31st. So in December 31st, if the market is closing above 13,200, so we have to see where it is closing. If it closes 300 point above 13,200, you will get 300 rupees from the seller. If it closes 400 point above 13,200, you will receive 400 rupees from the seller. So then you make a profit. What is your break even? Because you already bought 13,200 for 170 rupees, that means your break even will be 13,200 plus 170. That means it is 13,370 is your break even. Now, this break even is all calculated at the end of the expiry. Along the way, let us say tomorrow, if the market goes higher, then this price of 170 will go to 180, 200 like that. If tomorrow market goes down, this price will also go down. So the market perception will keep changing on a day to day basis. If the price goes up, call option price will go up. If price goes down, call option price will come down. And in between, if you want to come out, you don't want to wait until 31st of December. In between, you want to come out at whatever price is trading, you can exit. That is called squaring up your position. Another one, if you go to opstra.defineh.com. So this is a free software. You go to this site, you click option strategy builder and here is shown nifty. Here you click options, expiry is 31st December, option strike 13,200 and you are buying, you are buying one lot of option. You click add position, you will get some basic information about these options. I will show you one by one. The first one is the probability of profit is 29%. So the probability you are making profit will be 30%. So there is still 70% probability that you will lose money. What is the maximum profit? As I told you earlier, your maximum profit can be anything because Nifty can go to 14,000, 15,000, even it can go to 1 lakh also. So your profit is unlimited. What is your maximum loss? You are paying a premium of 170 rupees per share. For 75 shares, you are paying 75 into 170, that is 12,750 rupees. If the market closes below 13,200, that means your entire money is gone. So the 12,750 rupees that you paid, that is what you lose, that will be your maximum loss. Now what is the break even? So we have already discussed the break even. Though you are saying Nifty will go above 13,200, but you are not going to make profit when the market goes above 13,200. You are going to make profit only if Nifty goes above 13,370. That's because the 170 rupees you paid also you have to consider. And estimated premium. So the premium that you have to pay is 12,750. And this is a chart. This chart is called payoff chart. And look at the payoff chart very clearly. So this is the line, that's a today's current market price. And now you are betting that market will go above 13,200. So if the market stays below, so below 13,200, so your entire money will be the loss. You can see what is written in the uh, red color square box. P&L minus 12,750. Change from the spot is at the fall in the market. So if the market is falling, you will lose all your money. But if the market starts moving above 13,200, which is about 2% higher from here, so your loss will keep reducing. From 12,750, your loss keep reducing, 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 reducing. And when it goes to 12,370, so your loss becomes zero. And you can see the uh, line down at the bottom, you can see the price. If the price goes above 13,370, so you start making profit slowly. And as more and more the price goes, you make more and more profit. So this is the example I have given that somebody is bullish, is thinking market will go up and is buying 
13,200 call option. Okay. Now, if somebody is bearish, somebody is thinking that market will go down, market will go down below the 12,800. So, in that case, we have to choose the P put option, buying one lot, add position, and then this call option we have to cancel. You click here, edit position, you click delete, so that will be deleted. Now, here you see you are paying a premium of 186 rupees. The probability of profit is around 30 percent. Maximum loss is the total premium that is 186 rupees into 75. Your break even is 12,614. Here you see the break even is the strike price minus the premium. Put option strike price minus premium. Call option strike price plus the premium. So the market, though you are saying market will go below 12,800, your actual profit begins only when the market falls below 12,614. That's because you are paying 186 rupees from your pocket. And you can see if the market goes above, you lose all your money. Once the market goes below 12,800, your loss keeps reducing. And once it goes below 12,614, you start making the profit. So this is the risk reward chart. And if you look at the option prices and you can see people are betting that it will go above 13,000 that trading around 265 rupees. People are betting above to, to 13,100 the price reduces. 13,300, 13,200, 13,300, 13,400. So as you go far out of the money, the option premium keeps going down. That is natural because the probability of winning is very, very low. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow with another video. Thank you for watching.